Okay, welcome back. We are going to look how to save our model. Um, first thing we want to do is let's go down to export and let's just click on uh, OBJ right here. So click on OBJ once. Um, make sure you are on your desktop. So click on the desktop right here. And we're just gonna make sure we name our model. I'm just gonna call my guy Jason. Okay, uh, on the top right here. Now, um, one thing we want to make sure is we create a new folder because actually our OBJ file is going to have uh, our OBJ folder is going to have three files inside of it. So let's click on new folder right here. I'm going to call my folder JSON because that's where he's going to be placed, and I'm going to make sure I click on the JSON folder here. So I'll just click on that once. I've named my file JSON, so I know what it is. I make sure I've clicked on the folder, and I'm just going to click save. Okay. So once that's done, I'll just uh, move this out of the way. It's uh, created, it has a file, you can see right here, and if I double click on it, you can see here is the OBJ file, the MTL file, and the PNG. You will need all three of these files to put it into your game, into the Unity engine. Okay, so we've got that file, which is great, but we do not have the file. If we want to edit this uh, character again, you need a .vox file, and that file is not down here under export. It's this little save icon up here, this little orange disk. So if you click on that, you will notice um, it will put you uh, in. It's, this actually puts me inside the JSON folder, which is good. And I'm just going to, instead of call this untitled, I'm going to call it json.vox. Now, you want to make sure you're inside the JSON folder saving this, because it's going to make it really handy. So I'm just going to make sure I'm going to click on desktop. And there's my JSON folder right there. I just want to make sure I'm on it. And I can save this file called json.vox into here. Now, you notice there's a lot of JSONs here, but they all have different file uh, extensions on them, so they're all, um, it won't overwrite anything. So I just click Save, OK. So now, essentially, inside this JSONs folder, JSON folder, is the OBJ file, the MTL file, and the PNG file, which are all, you will need all of those for your game. And then if you wanted to reload JSON back into Magic of Voxel, you would need this .vox file. When I say that, um, let me just show you what I mean. So for example, let's say I just like delete him and he's gone. Um, okay, I want to bring him back. So I'm going to click on this little file folder icon right here. And I'm going to search, uh, let's just say I search on my desktop. I go to my JSON folder and there's the JSON box right there. Let's double click it. Um, I know I don't want to save any of that, and it will bring him back, and I can work on him again. So that's how you bring your character back. Okay, of course, because you are on a computer, uh, you're not always using the same computer, this file, you want to save it into your Google Doc. So click on Google Chrome right here. Um, make sure you're in your, um, your uh, account. Click on the waffle up in the top. Click on Drive. And inside your drive, if you don't already have one, you should create a models folder. Uh, pretty easy to create. You just click on new uh, and you click on folder and then you just name it models. And I double click on your models folder. I have no model, I have nothing inside here right now. So all I do is I grab Jason, put him in there, and it should upload Jason there. And then now I can always download him wherever I am and use him again. Pretty handy. Okay, so hopefully that's been helpful uh, in showing you how to save the OBJ file its components and the .vox file.